Ever wondered about Titan, Saturn's coolest moon? You've probably heard about its famous methane lakes, but did you know it's got some mysterious magic islands too? Picture this, sporadic, brilliant spots popping up on the lakes with no clear explanation. Well, here's the scoop. A recent study dropped in the geophysical research letters on January the 4th spills the beans on these enigmatic islands. Turns out it's not some intergalactic wizardry, it might just be chunks of frozen biological stuff doing their thing on the lakes. Stay tuned for the lowdown on the captivating magic islands. But before we dive in, hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on the cosmic revelations ahead. The largest moon of Saturn, Titan, is a fascinating celestial region full of enigmatic magic islands. Imagine a place where methane and ethane just shower down like confetti and the sky's got this misty vibe from all the organic molecules hanging around. Now, picture Titan's surface. It's like a liquid hydrocarbon wonderland, all lakes and seas chilling out. It's like Titan's got its own groove, making it a potential crib for some extraterrestrial life. But hold on, Titan's not spilling all its secrets just yet. Even with its earthly vibes, it keeps us guessing, throwing in some cosmic curveballs. Titan's lakes have odd characteristics that happened and disappeared over time. These were discovered by the Cassini probe in 2014 and were dubbed Magic Islands. Scientists were still baffled by the origin, creation, and consequences of these islands. This video delves further into a recent study that puts up a novel theory. Hydrocarbon icebergs with honeycomb patterns drifting on Titan's lakes could be the source of the Magic Islands. We will contrast this new understanding with previous theories about gas bubbles or floating solids during the investigation to give light on Titan's distinct environment and its possible habitability. Titan's atmosphere, akin to Earth's, is primarily composed of nitrogen with a touch of cosmic flare, trace amounts of organic compounds like methane. But here's where it gets fascinating. Under the cosmic spotlight of sunlight and cosmic rays, these molecules engage in a transformative dance. They break down, remix, and form intricate compounds, creating a complex symphony of organic chemistry. This celestial orchestra blankets Titan in a dense mist, a mysterious shroud that shields its surface from the majority of sunlight. But the cosmic drama doesn't end there. Picture a delicate rain of organic dust and sand, a celestial fallout as these molecules gracefully descend from the atmosphere. These tiny particles become the unsung heroes, contributing to the formation of relevant organic solids on Titan's surface, akin to a celestial sedimentation process. This interplay of molecules, sunlight, and cosmic rays shapes Titan's unique environment, where a misty atmosphere and organic solids converge to create an otherworldly spectacle. There are lakes and seas of liquid ethane and methane on Titan's surface, where temperatures drop to roughly negative 180 degrees Celsius. These are mostly found close to the poles where the climate is more stable and humid. The emphasis now shifts to comprehending the interactions between these organic solids and the liquid hydrocarbons. Are they afloat, disintegrate, or sink? Researchers use computer models to mimic the behavior of different organic compounds, including tar, asphalt, and materials resembling pumice on Titan's lakes in an effort to answer the question. They adjusted the temperature, composition, and wind speed of the lakes in addition to the solid's density, porosity, and solubility features. According to the results, depending on how soluble this solid was, it would either dissolve in the liquid or sink to the bottom of the lakes. But one interesting kind of material stuck out. Low-density, porous particles that could float on the surface and were similar to pumice on Earth. These solids may come together to form honeycomb formations, which are buoyant and resistant to dissolution because they trap air inside. These are the same materials that Titan's lakes may eventually produce icebergs from. The researchers found that porous and low-density substances could, in fact, produce icebergs that appear and disappear on Titan's lake surfaces, giving the appearance of magical islands. This theory showed better coherence with observations and Titan circumstances when compared methodically to previous theories involving gas bubbles or floating materials. The magic islands were first thought to be explained by gas bubbles, 
which create bubbles that rise to the surface when methane gas is liberated from the lake's bottoms by biological or geological processes. The requirement for stable bubbles in the face of pressure and wind on the lakes, as well as the mystery surrounding the source of an abrupt and significant gas leak, presented difficulties for this theory. Another theory about floating solids suggested that organic particles that fall from the atmosphere could collect on the surface of the lake and form floating rafts or mats. But this too was not without its issues. For example, it was unclear how solids were able to remain on the surface rather than dissolve or sink. The most recent theory proposed that the Magic Islands could be explained by hydrocarbon icebergs with honeycomb patterns. It was hypothesized that low-density, porous substances could create honeycomb formations when they fell from the atmosphere, trapping air inside to make them buoyant and resistant to breakdown. Then, these icebergs would float on the surface of the lakes, reflecting radar signals and behaving like bright spots, similar to what the Cassini mission saw. Some of the issues raised by earlier theories were resolved by this theory. The icebergs may change in size and shape, emerging and vanishing over time and seasons, depending on temperature and wind conditions on the lakes, and they were comparable with the observed properties and behavior of organic substances on Titan. The researchers contrasted the observations from the Cassini spacecraft with their computer models in order to verify their hypothesis. The creation and evolution of the Magic Islands were explained by the models, which effectively replicated their dynamics and properties. Furthermore, the models might forecast the location and frequency of icebergs on Titan's lakes, giving future searchers a better idea of where to look. This study on Titan's vibe is pretty game-changing. It dives deep into how this moon rolls with its liquid lakes, falling organic particles, and those cool hydrocarbon icebergs that they call magic islands. And get this, if those icebergs are the real deal, they could be packing organic molecules, secret liquid water spots, and maybe even a pad for microorganisms on Titan. But here's the kicker. This study's got its fair share of challenges. They had to do some guesswork and simplify things about the organic solids and Titan's lake setup, which might mess with how accurate the findings are. Plus, they had to rely on kind of fuzzy and indirect observation of those magic islands. So, while the study's all about the positive of Titan's magic spots, it's not the end-all be-all. It leaves us with more questions and opens the door for future missions to figure out Titan's whole deal. It's like a cosmic mystery novel, keeping us hooked on the wonders of our solar system. The mysteries of Titan are truly incredible. Can you believe it? Organic chemicals essential for life as we know it on Earth are hanging out on Titan, including nitrogen, oxygen, and a bunch of carbon-based molecules. But here's the real deal. Beneath that thick, icy crust, Titan is hiding a salty water ocean, just like its cousins, Encladius and Europa. These ocean worlds are like the cool kids in Saturn and Jupiter's moon gang, and scientists are eyeing them as prime real estate for the hunt for extraterrestrial life. Now, Titan might seem like the ultimate stay-away zone, but hold on, it's got potential. Life there could be doing its thing, playing by a different set of cosmic rules that we're only starting to grasp. If you're as intrigued by the wonders of our solar system, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing space adventures. Who knows what other secrets the universe is hiding? So stay curious.